So when you're drilling, if you're doing this, be careful because um, I got in a rush and I wasn't pushing straight on the drill, I was pushing on an angle and uh, I snapped a bit. Yo, what's going on guys? It is DJ Rick Webb and in today's video, we're gonna be doing a little bit of less of DJ related. We're gonna be working on the trailer behind me. I got this trailer, I don't even know how many months ago now and I've been neglecting to do some modifications to it to make my life easier. Today's modification is right here, E-Track. Um, basically giving myself a bunch of tie down points in the trailer so that things are tied down. There's a highway right behind me, so excuse me if you guys hear a lot of noise from the highway, it's also a little windy. We're going to be installing E-Track. If you guys don't know what E-Track is, basically this is a long five foot section of E-Track and basically you have uh, clamps that I'll show you when we install this that you can clamp into it and give yourself basically uh, mounting points that attach ratchet straps, uh, all kinds of stuff like that. Beyond that, we're going to install some more uh, D-rings in there, but this is kind of like the first part of the modification to the trailer. I do need to get some uh, paint to paint the bottom. I just sliced my finger. But anyways, everything that you guys see me use in this video is going to be linked in the description down below. Pretty much we're just using a drill with some drill bits and uh, some uh, fasteners and all this stuff from Harbor Freight. Because Harbor Freight's awesome. Alrighty, inside of the trailer, as you guys can see, it's very barren. I do have my event table in here just because I was too lazy to take it out last time. But uh, what we're going to be doing here, so the nose of the trailer is not really used for much. So up here I'm going to be putting some D-rings to basically allow me to strap in uh, all of my tripods at the front nose of the trailer. Then on the side here we're going to be doing E-Track. They only had three five foot sections so I can't install all the E-Track. But on this side I'm going to be putting two rails. Uh, one right here and one at a lower height so that way I can strap the subs in below and then the tops that are over top of it Strap them in above that and then eventually over here I'm also gonna have one more, but it's just gonna be one on this side not two double stack All right, so the first thing I'm gonna start on is the uh, D-rings right here. These are from Harbor Freight. They're Pretty reasonably really cheap um, just some D-rings that uh, we're gonna be installing up here at the front and I got number 12 sheet metal screws three-quarter inch long mostly because what we're screwing into is actually the framing behind the wood, not the wood itself. And to actually drill the holes, we're gonna be using a 964 inch bit. I've already pre-measured all my tripods back in the garage to see how high up I want these D-rings at. So basically now I'm just going to measure out where I need them to be, mark them, and drill my holes and get it installed. One done. That is all four of the D-rings here installed at the front nose of the trailer. So now we have strap points that I can put straps across here and tuck the tripods up against this corner. Now we're going to move on to this wall and start putting our uh, E-track down. So when you're drilling, if you're doing this, be careful because um, I got in a rush and I wasn't pushing straight on the drill, I was pushing on an angle and uh, I snapped a bit. Good thing I got extra bits though. installed I can show you why it's so cool so you can buy things like this which are basically a d-ring attachment similar to what we had but you just lock it in here and uh, we'll actually go like this Voila. you got a d-ring attachment and then you can hook a ratchet strap off to, of this d-ring and uh, ratchet strap some stuff in so you also got ratchet straps as well that have the e-track already attached to them and you literally just 
pop them in. And then uh, you have a ratchet strap. I have a total of two of the ratchet straps and I have two of the V-ring attachments. Um, the attachments are actually the more expensive part, honestly. The, this track runs about 20 bucks per five foot section. These are like 10 or 12 bucks a piece, or you can buy uh, just a solid ratchet strap by itself for 10 or 12 bucks. So basically now with the E-Track, I can uh, strap down all my stuff so I'm not worried about stuff just shifting everywhere when I don't have a full load, so cool stuff. Two hours later. And there you guys go. You can see that we're actually using the uh, rings right here, and I strapped up the event table on this side. Nice and secure, not going anywhere. Uh, you can kind of see here what I'm going to do with uh, tripods being back here uh, in this corner piece. And then over here we have the ratchet straps that actually hook into the actual uh, E-Track. And uh, I just kind of tighten those up so that they're out of the way. I'm probably going to have to maybe cut some of that off because it is a little long. If I didn't mention already, this was all the E-Track that they had at Harbor Freight. They only had three sections, so I bought out all that they had. There's actually like two Harbor Freights within half an hour of where I live. One's just down the street about 10 minutes, and the other one's in High Point about half an hour away. But I do plan on going to buy more E-Track because I want to put two more right here to finish out this, and then two more at the back to finish out this whole wall. And I also want to finish out this side right here. I don't want to double stack over here. This is more or less the wall that trussing is going to go on and lesser stuff and the big stuff's planning to go on this wall. I also have to consider weight load in my trailer so that I have an equal on both sides. That is my little bit of E-Track install, guys. This was a quick little video to show you guys my installation of that. I do plan on doing something with this floor. I'm not sure what yet. I'm looking at either doing an enamel coating, doing a bed liner, or just buying some cheap paint to put down just for something to protect this floor from moisture, uh, mostly moisture moving forward, but I'm, I'm, look, I'm leaning more towards doing bed liner. But anyways guys, it feels great to finally be caught up on videos. You guys are actually seeing this video at a decent time compared to looking at Christmas videos in January. And as you guys know on my social media links right there, that is because I have an editor now that edits every single one of my videos. I was splitting it between me and an editor, but now I got two editors and they do all of my editing for me, which saves me time. As with that said, if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to the YouTube channel, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button. But anyways, guys, my name is DJ Rick Webb. Keep them records spinning, and I will see you guys next time.